Seven. You're watching the Days of 47 KSL 5 Parade. Today's parade coverage is sponsored by your Utah Honda dealers. Good morning and welcome to the KSL TV Days of 47 Parade. We're so excited to be here again with you. I'm Danny Wimmer along with Mike Hedrick. Yeah, what Good. a great day it is out here. We see some cloud cover, right? But uh, we it's okay. We welcome that cloud yes. cover. We need that sun to be hidden a little bit. Yeah. Here's the thing. 176 years ago, the Pioneer Company, the Vanguard Pioneer Company, entered the Salt Lake Valley, led by Brigham Young, and set into motion the celebrations that we're experiencing today. Yeah, the Days of 47 Parade is among the longest-running parades in the United States. It celebrates the Pioneer's first arrival here into the Salt Lake Valley. And this year's theme is Pioneer Stories, Values to Build On. And we'll see several floats that have created that theme into their float. And I can't wait to see what they've come up with. Oh, I know. Each year it's unique, and they got some mm -hmm. really outside-the-box thinkers, if you will, for, for lack of better words. Now, the history of the parades, it dates all the way back to 1849, two years after the pioneers actually made their way here into the valley. The parade began with a cannon fire, as we know, the ringing of the Nauvoo bell, and was led by the Nauvoo Brass Band. A lot, though has changed since that <laughs> since first that parade, parade, right? Oh, you could say so. Let's give you a bird's eye view. First off of this parade route, you'll see from Chopper 5, people have uh, getting, or they're getting ready for the parade. It's great to see that so many people still want to take part in this long-standing tradition. Yeah, you look at some of that, uh, those shots from Chopper. Again, we mentioned there's some cloud cover out there, which is really good. It's protecting a lot of people from uh, just the heat of the day. Well, yeah, and I think people who maybe were on the fence, if they're going to come out, this would push you to go because it's so comfortable right now. And you still got, still got time, right? Yeah. You can come on down come here. Come on but down. Look at that. We've got a lot of people lined in the streets there, and we have some of our first, uh, looks like some of the first pioneers. And they got their hand carts there pushing, pulling. I love it. I love it. This is such a great parade route. There are so many places you can sit and watch. If you're coming right now, come down 7th East. That's what we would recommend. Yep. Head from the east. And uh, there's still plenty of space for anyone who watches, wants to watch. This parade kicks off at South Temple and State Street, travels to 2nd East, where it heads south until 8th South, where it will head east for several more blocks until it gets to 6th East near Liberty Park. Yeah, now this slight change is due to road changes along 900 South. That street has been narrowed for Salt Lake City Green Belt development, making it difficult for floats, bands, other entries to take that traditional path. All right, now we're still, still several blocks away from the start of the parade, but we want to talk to some of our colleagues who were at the start of the parade route. Lori Pritchard, Dan Spindle, they're where all the action is beginning. What do you guys see out there? Well, that's what I love about Pioneer Day, Days of 47. You've got hand carts, you've got horses, you've got covered wagons, you've got under the sea. I mean, Ariel and Sebastian would be on this one. Check it out. Butterfield Canyon Steak, let's give them a big shout out because they got the Judge's Choice Award. The creativity, the color. Walk this way, uh, Tanner, as we take a look back here toward the KSL uh, float. We're a part of this, too. Uh, we love to be a part of it year after year. I want you to say hello. Uh, Butterfield Steak. Butterfield. Hey. These are my friends right here. I want to show you, just to embarrass her. This is uh, Holly Pattering. It is her It is her birthday today. So the entire state of Utah, the entire world watching, wish her a happy birthday. Yeah? <laughs> happy birthday, Holly. There you go. Okay, they are fired up. They're excited to do this. And they walk along the parade route the entire way, just saying hello to everybody. And so many people line the streets year after year. And it's not really to get anything except to enjoy uh, the camaraderie, right? Everybody gets together and enjoys days of 47. Uh, so many years and generations that connect. So uh, we're going to come back out here and talk to uh, Lori in just a second, who's over by our KSL float with all of our radio partners. You'll see us doing this whole thing. We've got this wave, we've got the point, this kind of wave, or this wave, you know, really emphatic, all right? So uh, let's take a look up top once again from Chopper 5, looking down on the route for Days of 47 Parade. Yeah, I think he, uh, he, he mentioned all the waves. All the waves. Every single one of the waves. I didn't see the wave. Hey, honey, the kids are over here wave. That's the more frantic wave. That is frantic. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, look at ahead. You can see those longhorns. Wow. Yeah. Oh, those are beautiful looking animals. Hey, real quickly, uh, just to let you know about the weather, I'm actually pulling up the app right here. There's some cloud cover, as we mentioned. There's a couple pop-up storms that, uh, that I'm looking here on the radar, but nothing that seems to be threatening anything with this parade. It it's, looks pretty clear. So uh, It's only a balmy 83 out there. Oh, my goodness. And I shouldn't say only, but, you know, we've been having such a hot week, and you were just kind of like, oh, it's going to be a, a scorcher. It's actually quite pleasant right now. It so. is. 
great start to the parade. Let's go to Lori Pritchard. Dan said she was by the KSL float. Lori, that's a pretty cool float this year. Hi, yes! I am right by the KSL float. Let's take a look at it right here. Uh, hey, guys, say hi! Hi! Oh, hi! of spectators can do better. Let's take a look. Hi, guys. Hey, everyone say hi. See? The six of you did a better job than our KSL float. <laughs> well, welcome. All right, John Smith here from 103.5. I am with John every morning, and we like to play a game each morning. Oh, oh no, I'm on the spot here. Truey or Hooey. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Because we're going to play Truey or Hooey. Truey or Hooey. All right. Okay. So Truey is true, Hooey is false. Thanks for mansplaining. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit we do every morning. It's, yeah, it's a, okay. All right. All right. So on Pioneer Day, that is the day UHP gives out the Maybe most tickets. True. Feeding. Truey. True. It is yes. true. Well done. Well, that was a total shot in the dark. That was. <laughs> but I'm going to drive safely on the way home. Okay. I'm yes. All right. True or Hooey? <clears throat> Oh, there's a, okay, round okay. Two. okay. Was it hand carts that the pioneers wheeled in to Utah? Was it hand carts? Yes, truly. Actually, it was more wagons than hand carts. What? <laughs> oh, man. See, when I went on Pioneer Trek in the 90s, I, know, see, I got ripped off, okay. man. You and I are going to continue to play this. We're going to send it back. Okay. Uh, We're so excited for this parade <laughs> this morning. So many uh, fun, exciting floats to see. We hope you enjoy. That's all truey. All truey. What she just said. All yeah. truey. I agree with that. All right. <laughs> Looks like they're gearing up and ready Thanks, behind Lori. you. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, John. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hey, a popular tradition with the Days of 47 parade, of course, has been our Honda Watch and Win Contest. We're excited to bring it back again this year. Watch and play along with us, and you could win 1000 bucks in cash. All you've got to do to win is watch the parade. That's pretty easy. And then pay attention to the animated Honda vehicle that will zoom across the bottom half of your screen and you will see it six times during the parade. Each car will be towing a special keyword that you need to keep track of. When you see the car and you hear that honk, you can enter the keyword right away on our KSL TV Facebook page. Then to submit your answers, go to the KSL TV Facebook page and look for the contest post at the top of the page. Click the link, fill out the entry form. You have until six o'clock tonight to enter. Remember, there will be six keywords throughout the parade, so you've got six chances to enter for one of those keywords and we'll make them obvious you'll you'll know when they come across one person will be randomly selected to win the one thousand dollars in cash the winner will be announced on our facebook page after six o'clock as you've seen we have a whole team of ksl5 reporters covering this event casey scott in his big cowboy hat is out along the parade route casey yeah yeah we're out here along the parade route and mike and dini i just found out we're not eligible for the thousand dollars but that would be sweet to win it so make sure you look for those keywords but as we're out here People are looking for shade. A lot of people brought their own shade. And, of course, KSL wanted to come and deliver. So we've got KSL fans that we're giving out. We've got Otter Pops. And a lot of people are using these little uh, headphones right here. But they actually go around your neck, and they've got fans in them. And they blow uh, just a burst of cool air on you. And then I've got some horses. So we're going to see what kind of fun we can scare up here at the parade ground. So come on over here with me, Corey. we got this family here. Hey, make some noise. Come on, everybody. Now, I want you to put your Funyuns down, if you don't mind, buddy, and I want you to get on this horse. And I want to see, I want to see some riding for you. Come on, give me, give me a little riding. Let's just see what you got here real quick. Oh, yeah. Look at his hair bounce in the wind. That kid's ready to rock and roll. Well, of course, we're doing that, buddy. Here, let me give you an Otter Pop. That's going to help you cool off. Here's an Otter Pop for you. Here's an Otter Pop for you. Now, let's come over here and talk to Dad. Uh, Dad, how many years have you been coming down to the Days of 47 Parade? This is my second time. Since now, when was your first? Oh, about 10 years ago. Why, did, well, why the break? It was hot the day I came. Okay, <laughs> so now you thought you... Clouds today. And, and it's beautiful out here, but let me ask you, what's your last name? Via Gomez. Via Gomez. What do the Gomez's love about a parade? Oh, man, we just love all the excitement, all the energy, all the candy they throw out. And celebrating our pioneer history and looking towards the future, and that's what it's all about. So we're going to be along the parade route throughout it. We've got some contests. We've got some giveaways, like this fan right here for you. And there you go, and then uh, we're gonna send it back to you guys. But are we having a good time? I always do this when I'm on KSL. If you're having a good time, make some noise!
No, oh, okay. You you're standing there silent. That doesn't happen very often, Casey. <laughs> no, so it doesn't. I figured that was my cue. You all got right, it. I know. I'm he's over there. I'm just looking over there. So all right, we're out here on the street. That trailer is really nice and cool. It's actually real comfortable out here, though. This is very nice. First day, uh, first hour of the parade. We're not even breaking a sweat. No, out we aren't. This is a good sign. This is a very good sign. Okay, so we're gonna play a game called uh, True and False. I know it's a <laughs> true, <laughs> whatever. True, yeah, yeah, whatever. We're gonna keep it simple. True and False, right here. So we got a good group right here of. Uh, I know you guys. Some of these parade you guys game to see how much parade trivia. All right, who wants to take the first one? Who's the bravest? Okay, right here. You got volunteered. All right, here is the question. You guys come play along at home. True or false? The Pilgrims crossed the plains and settled Utah in 1847. That is true. Okay, did anyone catch the tricky word? Pilgrims. The Pilgrims. Pilgrims. See, he's thinking Thanksgiving okay. dinner right now. He's Mayflower. losing his mind. Okay. We got yeah, it. I know. See, that's we have to resort to being tri trickery. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, I'm going to move out of the way All here. Right, we got another one for you. Who's next? Who's next? Okay, you're ready to move on down the line? Okay. So, the Mormon pioneers led by Brigham Young. Oh, no, no, that's not it. Here we go. True or false? When Brigham Young entered the valley on July 24th, there were already crops planted in the area. I'm going with false. Okay. Oh. It's true. Oh. Your face said it was true. <laughs> I know. I was I, my poker face Dang. is not great. I was just so sad for you. That was all. I was just so good. We, we haven't told them there are prizes. There are prizes. There are oh, prizes. Oh, yeah. Do we, we not mention that? There's Let's, prizes. Okay, Vanna, They're bring up the, the prizes, by the way. Okay, we should, here we you know. Go. This is a blanket, perfect, right? For July. And then a little fan, a neck fan. warmer. You were wearing that cooler. earlier at work. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> You have a good looking neck. <laughs> right. It's hot. Oh man, that's sticky. You need that fan. All right, so now, now we've got them geared up. Okay, you guys yeah. ready? No, Sorry, okay. okay. Now they're ready. You're up, Danny. All right, two or false. Um, the first Mormon wagon train to come to Utah was known as the Brigham Young Company. I'm going to say false. Okay, that is correct. Yeah. There you go. Job. Correct. The first group of women of, I mean, false. The first group of Mormon pioneers led by Brigham Young was known as the Vanguard Company. Right? Okay. Okay. All right. So I need a, I need a lady right here. Okay. Here she goes. Why, why, why? <laughs> All right. So here you go. Okay. Two or false. The original company that left winter quarters with Brigham Young consisted of nearly 150 people, nearly half of which were women. True or false? True. Flip it. Just flip it. There you go. Hey, Survive. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All Actually, right. Yeah, the truth is, the first group traveling uh, Brigham Young only had three women. Oh. Three women. That's right. What? Okay. We're getting okay, close. we're working our way down here. This is some of the pre parade that we've got going on here. You're not going to miss a second of the parade, by the way, the way we've orchestrated it. So we've got time here for this, uh, these questions, last ones. Yeah. You can do a group effort, all right? All right, true or false, the first Pioneer Parade was held in 1849, two years after the wagon train came into the valley. I'm going to say true. It is true! Okay. It is one of the longest running parades, 1849. That's awesome. Good job. Because yeah. you're a group, you get a blanket. Yay. Okay. There you go. I For like this that. Great and cool also, day. I'm going to come down here because uh, this was our first big winner. And man, yeah. your neck looks hot. It is hot. <laughs> so you take care of that. Congratulations. Hey, thanks for playing, everyone. Yeah. It was great to have you. Awesome trivia. You learned a few things, right? Yeah, you did. I yeah, did. You did. Okay. So, those are our true and false. We've got a few minutes here before the parade makes it to our route. I, see I can down see there. the Salt Lake Police Motorcade. Always sharp, always starting off the parade. KSL Days of 47 Parade will be right back. Days of 47 Parade, sponsored by KSL TV. You are looking at live pictures here from Chopper 5 in downtown Salt Lake City. Oh boy, what a beautiful day outside that little blur there. Beautiful, beautiful day. Perfect day for a parade. And you know, the great thing is, is if you didn't 
venture down here to see the parade on the front lines, you actually have the benefit of seeing Chopper 5, and you'll see some parade from above and from the street. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that view is nice from up top, right? Spectacular, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is the first entry, number one, Salt Lake City Police Motor Squad. They already, always start off the parade. They always get us going, and they always have those great mustaches. Some of them real. It's some part of the deal, right? Obviously it's not. part of the deal. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the Salt Lake Police Department officially began on July 3rd, 1851, when 47 men were sworn in as police officers, and at the time, their wages were 25 cents an hour. Interesting fact, prior to 1851, policing was handled by the LDS Church. I didn't, did you know that? I think, we think from the trivia I, I, we've done before. Yeah, the only, uh, that's what it is, trivia yeah. from before. Oh boy, they're there on the side. Ah, Yay. Look at those cute smiles. Hey guys, got some water, ready to go, stick your tongue out. There you go, I love it. That's the spirit. That is the spirit. People have been lined up, uh, gosh, I mean, usually we report on this days in advance, people claim their spots along this route. I know, so. these look like some of the fresher fans. You, you often will come to the parade and see people totally zonked out uh -huh. because they stayed up all night goofing around and then they're asleep for the parade. Yeah, so, teenagers are usually half asleep during the parade because uh, they've been up all night. I know. So this uh, this group looks like they're they're ready to go and uh, ready to cheer on. Yeah, and we've talked about this before. I think what's so cool about this, I mean, the precision is awesome, but uh, the training that goes into to this, I, I think a lot of it, Deanie, correct me if I'm wrong, so, uh, a lot of it's voluntary time uh, as far as training for events for like this. For these and things, yeah. The training, the cleaning your bike, all that kind of stuff. See, there you can see it from top of Can you imagine trying to turn a, a several hundred pound no. bike on a, an angle that, sh that short and you've got people on both sides of you? That's a lot of leaning. Yeah, it's a lot and of balance, <laughs> yes, right? Leaning exactly. and balance. Exactly. So yeah, again, you're looking at this chopper five shot. That's what I love about that one is you can see, uh, what were they doing? Some kind of S turns yep. is what that looked like. And you heard in the Truy Hui uh, trivia earlier today, this is a day for tickets. You do not want to see those lights <laughs> in your rear view mirror after this parade. No, so you don't. keep that in mind. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's uh, oh, okay. We're going to go down to Casey real quick. Um, Casey's along the sideline there. And uh, hey, Casey, you're out in front of seeing out our window here if I can see you. How far along the route are you? I'm Who are down, you talking I'm with? down a little south from you. I'm actually in front of the KSL VIP tent where we got people right behind us here underneath the tent. They've got a fan blowing some air on them and kids are lining up getting ready for the parade. Behind me you can see uh, the officers on bicycles and uh, or motorcycles but they're looking at my mustache. They've already asked me to join their gang so I don't know how it's going to go but I'm excited for it but I'm going to have to get a motorcycle license. But let's come over here and talk to this young lady here. What's your name? Zala. And what do you love about a parade? Do you love the, the floats? Do you love the candy? Do you love the people? I love the, I love the candy. Well, look what I got in my hot little hands right here. I got some candy for you ladies right there. There's some Skittles. And then I've got some fans to keep you uh, cool as the floats go by and the day goes on. So there you go, there you go. Now real quick on the count of three, I want you guys to all fan them just so we can, turn them around so we can see the KSL. You ready? Let's all fan, here we go. Can you guys feel that air? Oh, it's already getting a little bit cooler, huh? All right, so as you can see, we're hanging out here along the parade route. People over there are getting excited as the floats start making their way down here. Uh, I don't know if candy's being thrown at this parade, but you've got snow cones over there, you've got people making cotton candy, you've got bounce houses. Many people spent the night here in anticipation for the parade, and they are excited to be a part of it. So. It's a party, and I'm excited to be a part of it. And don't forget about the Utah Honda dealers. We're going to be putting keywords across the screen throughout the whole parade, giving you a chance to win $1,000. All you have to do is go to KSLTV.com. Right there on the homepage is your chance to win her $1,000 cash. Who doesn't need that? Mike, Dini, you could use $1,000, right? Everyone could use $1,000. Not $1, eligible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Appreciate that, Casey. What you're looking at here is the Mormon Battalion Association. Since 1852, the Mormon Battalion has been an integral part of the Days of 47 Parade. They're dressed apart, aren't they? Back in 1846, a few hundred volunteers from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints served during the Mexican-American War. Now, during his service, the battalion made a grueling march of nearly 2,100 miles from Council Bluffs, Iowa to San Diego, California. Can you imagine that? That's rough in a car with a bunch of kids, let alone, Seriously. you know, on foot. <laughs> Veterans of the battalion played significant roles in America's westward expansion in California, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and 
other parts of the West. Multiple monuments right here in Utah are dedicated to the Mormon Battalion, including a monument at the Utah State Capitol and a monument plaza at This Is The Place Heritage Park. It's even a museum dedicated to the battalion in the lower level of the visitor center at This Is The Place Heritage Park. You know, our goal here is to help people not only be entertained by all these spectacular sights and sounds, but to learn some things about our yep. pioneer heritage that you might not have known. For one, for example, the Sons of the Utah Pioneers. Now, this is an organization. Their motto is Pioneer Values, Learn, Teach, and and live them. And like the Mormon Battalion Association, this National Society of the Sons of the Utah Pioneers is an organization that's dedicated to preserving the heritage and memory of the pioneers who settled our state of Utah. They're founded in 1933. This organization seeks to honor the legacy of these early settlers through historical research, education programs, and the preservation of pioneer artifacts and landmarks. And you mentioned it too, uh, sometimes the only piece of, of history we get as far as uh, this, the, the saints settling here in, in the Utah Valley is during the parade, right? And there yes. is so much here that you can look at year round. You can go to some of these museums. This is the place, uh, is one of those places that you can do that. And uh, there's just a lot of historical markers and things that you can take advantage of if you really want to know, right? Right. Also, you can Google it. <laughs> also, you can Google it. Now, there are a lot of kids that are maybe watching that have gone on trek this summer. Yep. So they got a firsthand experience of what this was like for a little bit. And um, I mean, can you imagine carrying all your possessions in those? This has got to be a hit. We saw these bad boys at the, at the rodeo, and um, they're now on the parade route. These are the longhorn steers with rodeo cowboys. Yeah, these things are so cool. They're beautiful, beautiful animals. Um, you know, you mentioned there last week we saw these longhorns uh, walking the streets of Salt Lake. It's always such a cool sight, right? During the parade, you expect it. But it's even cooler when it's just in the middle of <laughs> middle of the week when they're kind of promoting the event. So right. this is super cool. And how appropriate. Here is our governor, Spencer Cox, on horseback. He's the true deal. He's the real deal. Oh, yeah, he is. He's a, a rancher, farmer. There's his wife, Abby. Rather than a traditional convertible, Governor Cox is leading the way on horseback through this parade. His presence riding horseback exemplifies the connection to the state's pioneer roots and his commitment to honoring our history. He hopes it to show his deep appreciation for Utah's heritage. And there probably aren't a lot of politicians who can uh, have the horse skills and the horse sense and frankly, the horse confidence <laughs> to ride through the parade like that. So glad to have them here. It looks like he's driving the Longhorn. I know he's not, but <laughs> it certainly makes it look like it from this angle. I bet he could hold his own. I'm sure he can. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he can. Pretty cool. Got some people along the side there, the crowd. There's gearing up for, I mean, th those are just the first few. Buckle up, my friends, because uh, we get another about an hour and a half here of uh, being able to watch these floats and different things coming on by here. Get off your phone, buddy. Get off. Come on. There's watch stuff to see. Come on. You know, you don't see um, people just looking hot and sweaty because it, the cloud cover has, has really made it pleasant out there. And so people are able to... Uh, just kind of relax and and wave hi there you go hey buddy enjoying the parade and their peanut butter got your emergency peanut butter uh, there you, you need to have you like you, <laughs> uh, there better have been chocolate nearby right <laughs> to dip that stuff exactly. in exactly they're better or bad all right so they're watching here and doing a little dance yeah i like it hey i uh, we we just showed some of the other motorcycles oh, okay let's keep it pg my friend uh, uh oh <laughs> All right, Utah Highway Patrol coming up here. We've got uh, their motor squad as well. And uh, I don't know, is there going to be a battle of motor squads? Because we, we got one more after this, too. I don't, don't it, we there's have always, unified? yeah. The, the pride in who looks the coolest, yeah. right? Yeah, they all look cool. Look at those. Look at those shades. I don't know if they have the mustaches, but they got some pretty sweet shades. Utah Highway Patrol motor squad composed of 22 of the most elite and highly trained troopers. They undergo several weeks of rigorous and demanding training to become highly skilled riders on BMW police motorcycles. There they are all lining up. The mission of the Utah Highway Patrol Motor Squad is to provide police and traffic services, reduce accidents, aggressive driving, and help with other traffic-related hazards throughout the state of Utah. We appreciate what they do out there. I know oh, it's not wow. an easy job. They've coordinated their way this year. That nice. Impressive. See, they, they take it up a notch every single year. There's something a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. See? They've got some drills practiced for the crowd, and the crowd is appreciating it. Yeah. Okay, where are they going, then?
It takes a lot of training to be able to learn to not only make the squat, but to learn to ride these formations in the parades. And you have to have a serious face. There's zero smiling if you're there's, on that. There's thing. no pleasantry. No. <laughs> <laughs> the wave is, is, is right, as good as it gets. No. So here they go again. Looks like they're going to line these things up. I mean, just think that that's a lot of pressure because you're getting lined up and if you just don't want to knock it one way because you're going to affect the whole the whole line, right? Yeah, we're not playing dominoes no here, right? We're not playing that. dominoes. Let's just, uh, yep. let's just keep them all up standing. There, there you, go. you go. That's what I'm talking about. I saw some smiles there. See, when they're in my rear view mirror, I never see smiles. This is how yeah. you want to see the highway patrol. Exactly. And people seem to agree. It's almost like they're doing well, that physically doing the wave, but when they turn the the front wheels on yeah. that, it was almost like the wave as well, right? Agreed. Yeah, it's it's a cool little effect. I remember uh, you you uh, have you ever been to the parade in person before you were here calling the parade? Yes, I yeah, have. Yeah, same. Yep. As as uh, kids and as families, we used to come and enjoy the parade, and so it's fun to have been on both sides of this parade. That's true. Experience. Well, tell me, I mean, well, here we go. Here's another side. Here, now, here's a side that we've never been a part of, actually, Dini, is actually on, on the, the float, float right? here, yes. But you will give a, a wave and high praise to the days of 47 royalty from 2022. Katie Ann Powell is the queen and reigning with her first attendant, Holly B. Singer, and second attendant, Kiana Bahunin. Ms. Powell is a professional harpist. She studied at the University of Utah and Redland School of Music. And in August, she'll start her MBA at the University of Utah. And you can see they have the pioneer stories, values to build on some of those values, kindness, integrity. You'll, you, it's really interesting to see how that theme is worked into all of these floats that we'll call your attention to. Yeah, again, it's uh, everyone gets really creative. I think that's why I'm so impressed each year by by the parade and whatever the theme is and just how people think of, okay, how can we make this a little bit different? Right now, you're looking at the parade grand marshal. Nope, no, nope, that's the board of directors. I'm sorry. I'm jumping the gun. I just want to see the grand marshal, there, right? <laughs> there's so many <laughs> entries here, but it, they're coming at us fast. Okay, so as we're looking at these board, the board of director, directors. They do a lot of work to make sure this parade goes off without a hitch. Uh, there we go. We're going to the Grand Marshal. There. All right, see, I was so anxious jumping the gun there. Now we're going to go through it here. So every year the parade's led by Grand Marshal this year. It is Elder D. Todd Christofferson. He serves as a member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Elder Christofferson has a rich pioneer heritage with many members of his family emigrating to Utah. In 1859, his great-great-grandfather came here from Denmark as a convert to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. His mother's father also came here from Sweden. He came alone on a ship as an 11-year-old boy he was supposed to come with his father, but then his father was called on a mission just before they were to leave. So, at age 11, Elder Christofferson's grandfather was put in a company with another family to watch over him. Once he got to Utah, he worked and lived with a different family here. Isn't that incredible? That is. Now, we've, we've seen some of the board of directors. Now, this is the Days of 47, President Lane Summerhays. Following uh, him, he's the... He served in this capacity since October of 2014, and they put in a lot of volunteer hours. Uh, you know, we just can't say enough about all the efforts they do to make our these this weekend or this long holiday of activities um, really bring our state together. It's a nonprofit corporation. It sponsors and presents the activities honoring the Mormon pioneers who settled Utah beginning July 24th, 1847. Okay, what you're looking at here is Draper City. Look at those waves. Draper City float is a tribute to Draper's early history as a poultry farming community. A lot of people don't even remember that, right? Yeah. In the, the 1940s, the town was known as the Egg Basket of Utah. Royalty here, you got Anna Page, Crown Miss Draper, Sloan James, Jewel Smith, and Belin Borg. Also be wearing crowns in the coming years as royalty attendants here. This float you're looking at is the Brigham Young Award winner. You'll see a couple of these. Uh, they have different specifications. And this is the Murray South Stake. 
This float celebrates the faith of pioneer quarry workers who hauled large granite blocks from Little Cottonwood Canyon to Salt Lake City. They literally moved mountains to build the temple. Oh, I gotta be careful of that. They're pounding in that stone there. Come on, man, watch your, <laughs> watch your fingers. I don't Whoa. think he's paying attention. He's just hacking at it. We wanted to, we've done a lot of social media efforts to try to get people involved and to get things going. And one of the things we ask people are, what are your 24th traditions? Okay, so we're going to read a few of them. Uh, Hannah McDonald said this, um, going to Cokeville, Wyoming, where we watch the parade go down Main Street and then come back again. We listen to a devotional, then get a Polynesian lunch at the park there. The rest of the day spent swimming, freezing rivers, playing with cousins, eating great food, and going to the rodeo. The day is finished with families coming together, light fireworks, and doing their best not to light each other on fire. <laughs> That's important. Yes, it is. We end the night talking uh, as families and lawn chairs. It is the best holiday. That is a full day. That is a full day. My goodness. All right, and we had uh, Melissa Hansen Merrill say Days of 47 Rodeo. Perfect. I agree. Lisa W. Hoagland, it was going to the parade and spending the night saving our spots. We talked about uh, that. Yep. Getting up early and seeing the old cars, but now because it's too hot, we just watch it on TV. I like that. All right. Castle this Valley Band. Do you know what they're, you know what they're I playing? I sure do. Do you know? Name that tune. Muse. Muse. That's a little uh, Muse action. We love okay. to see if we can name that tune. All right. Thank you, Castle Valley, for representing all areas of our state. This is the Days of 47 KSL Parade. We will be right back. Today's parade coverage is sponsored by your Utah Honda dealers. Okay, welcome back. Great to have you along. The KSL Days of 47 Parade, Pioneer Stories, Values to Build On. That is the theme, and you're seeing that theme through a lot of these floats uh, throughout the morning here. Very cool. This is the Unified Police Motor Squad. We told you there would be a, a battle of the squads. Oh, yeah. Here's Unified. They are proud to have a tradition of service dating back to 1932. This motor squad consists of 14 officers and a sergeant. The UPD motor squad rides Harley-Davidson motorcycles and serves the public in a wide variety of assignments. Members of the motor squad complete an intensive two-week course to become certified as a motor officer. And then following the initial course, officers continue to train throughout their tenure with the entire squad. So they got Harleys. With Harleys, UH BMWs. UHP BMWs. Yeah. What did do you remember what Salt Lake had? I don't remember what they said what they were what they were driving, yeah. riding. They've gone back and forth. Yamaha's? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Those might be fighting words. Well, I know, right. I, I probably made a few enemies by just saying that, so I apologize. I should just guess. But they're good. These are sharp looking those are sharp looking bikes too. And there's Chief Rosie Rivera, Salt Lake County Sheriff, I should say. Yeah. Sheriff Rosie Rivera. Yeah, lifelong Utah resident, uh, Sheriff Rivera there. First female sheriff in the state of Utah. You may or may not know that. Sheriff Rivera began her career in law enforcement back in 1993. She is a 30-year veteran of the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office, where she proudly leads nearly 1,800 employees of both the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office and Unified PD. Sheriff Rivera has advocated for victims and survivors of domestic violence for most of her career in law enforcement and still actively mentoring gang-involved youth. Sheriff Rivera is the mother of three adult children and a proud grandmother to her beautiful grandchildren as well. You may remember this, Deanie. I mean, we used to work with... Uh, with with Sheriff Rivera, I'm thinking back in like even early 2000s, whenever we had to go out on a call, she was the public information officer. So I remember we do ton of yeah. interviews with her, regardless of, you know, it was usually a bad situation, but she would be front and center. She'd have a camera in her face and we'd be asking her all the hard questions that she would have to answer. So yeah, it's, a, it, it's been actually kind of fun to see her where she's made her way up through the ranks. 
And she's in a Jeep, which I especially which appreciate. Which is dear with, to your heart. With the doors right. off and the top off. That's the way you ride <laughs> that's, a Jeep. That's the style. <laughs> the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Department also has this mounted posse. The Monet Posse is an honoring 70 years of service and tradition. They're all a volunteer group. They dedicate their time and resources to the Sheriff's Office by participating in parades and functions like this. Okay, Dan Spindle is along the parade route and he's doing super fun things, I would imagine. Dan, where are you exactly on the route? And, uh, oh, you're walking the route, hey, you're walking it. Mr. Famous there. Walking, I know, listen, sometimes your coworkers exert a little peer pressure and they say, ride, we're not riding, we're walking, getting our exercise. After all, look, the clouds have helped us out. Matt Johnson here, he said, I'm so sorry, I said it was gonna be so hot and sunny and it's uh, cloudy. What do you have to say for yourself? Called, called the clouds, but I think I think Kevin was the one who brought the clouds for us. Hey, I called for a little bit of we, sun. But we appreciate you and Kevin. It. Whoever whoever <laughs> botched the forecast saying too much sun, we have just enough right now along the parade route. And where are we? Well, we are exactly right next to the uh, KSL television and news radio uh, float. I mean, it's awesome, but honestly, sparsely populated because everybody, uh, your favorite uh, personalities from uh, 103.5, the Arrow from KSL, KSL News Radio, they're all walking guys. And so here we are. I mean, look, it's a nice day, right? It's a nice day. I think we're going to keep walking. We'll just, we got to watch where we step, though, you know? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, nice. Good I, think, I think, Dan, we should give you a shovel. Hi, Dan could Dan be on the cleanup crew, advanced <laughs> cleanup crew. Yeah, no, we just want to call your attention to this 1930 oh, Red Ford Deluxe Town sedan. There are horses. And then there's horsepower in this parade. Classic cars. You're not going to miss any of it. We've made a we've made a commitment. We're making every effort to at least show you in the different camera boxes and video boxes every entry that goes by. So this is um, part of the um, antique car collection and things that have come from the pioneers of progress and some of the winners from that from that group. Okay, nothing screams American like what you're seeing right here, right? Beautiful black Arabian. Here is uh, Francis. The amazing paint is Edgar. This is the Horse Paradise Riding Club. These two horses are joining us today from Horse Paradise in North Ogden. I love it. Those are some good looking. Those are some good looking animals right there. And in another talk not, not, off not Chief, to be right? outdone, That's Sheriff exactly. Rivera. Exactly. <laughs> Chief Mike Brown from the Salt Lake Police Department. He has served in the Salt Lake City Police Department since 1991. He's held many positions throughout the department in his 32 year career, including the commander for the Special Operations Bureau. Um, I will call, I will mention that my husband guys. made it note that Good the morning. Salt Lake City Police Department rides. BMWs. BMW, and he okay. chided me. I used to ride in the squad, don't you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, now I know. All right, you got Sterling Pulse in there, and uh, yeah, he's in the Mobile 2 Weather Lab. Hey, Sterling. Sterling's a good dude. We love Sterling. He's with uh, Channel 2. You know, he's done weather there for decades, yep. and he's our primary meteorologist, and so... Yeah, it's a man. Look at the front of that thing. It looks like they're going to get into some dangerous, out. dangerous territory. I don't know where that thing's <laughs> going today, but uh... it can go anywhere, <laughs> anywhere it wants. Oh my! Nice. All right, moving and we, on. <laughs> we have this entry. This is the Utah Miniature Horses. This entry is always a crowd favorite. These miniature horses are used for driving, riding, showing. They're pack animals, service animals, and most of all, fun companions when they're in a good mood. <laughs> they're feisty. Sometimes they can be very feisty. It, uh, these are the ones that, uh, like, my daughter would see on TV and say, you know what, I want a pony. I want a pony. Right, give me a pony. Right. They're, they're small, but they're very strong, and they're the perfect all-around horse for all ages. Don't you love... In this parade, too, you'll see some of the most gussied up horses. They have, you know, colored hair, streamers, bows, oh, yeah. decorated to the nines. They're, oh, those things are cute. They're cute. The one in the front seemed like they were struggling now. <laughs> 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 All right. What we're looking at here, Utah State Fair Park royalty. And why wouldn't they come on a horse, right? Of you're not, course. You're not going to have them on a the floor. These are the pros. Exactly. So we want to welcome our Utah State Fair and Rodeo Queen, Tristan Moulton. Quick history here. First fair was held in 1856. This year, they're going to celebrate the 167th anniversary of the fair. Utah State Fair was initially held at various locations in Salt Lake City, including Sugar House Park and Liberty Park. I didn't know that. 
Back in 1909, the fairgrounds were moved to their current location at the Utah State Fair Park, which covers about 65 acres. So you have a lot more room in the current space. Okay, this is our float from the Farmington, Utah Oak Ridge Stake. Now, again, the theme here, pioneer stories, values to build on. So their theme, their theme that they've worked into this float is our stories perfected by following him. Jesus Christ is symbolized here as the dove of truth, love, peace, and salvation. The float makers wanted to illustrate how all of God's children can flock towards and be perfected by Jesus Christ. I love it. That is, it's, it's simple, it's elegant, and uh, it's right actually- Right on point. It is. It's really peaceful. I yes. look at that thing, it's very peaceful. Pretty. Okay, watch and win. Here look, it is. Here it is, we're waiting for it. Come on, come on, put that up there. We, what, we got our first keyword. Beep, beep. All right, first keyword of the day, heritage. So go to our Facebook page, put that word in there. That's the first one. Okay, you got four more. Is it, no, five more chances. We yep. have a total of six. Yep. So uh, put that in there, the keyword, and you have a chance to win a little bit of money. And before we go to break, we're gonna leave you with the West Jordan City Parade Float. This is the West Jordan Stampede Royalty and they have got, they just finished their 68th year of rodeo traditions. We'll leave you with that and we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back everyone. KSL Days of 47 Parade. Oh, listen to this, a Utah, Utah pipe band. They sound so good. You gotta have a pipe band in a parade. You do. In fact, I, I would request multiple pipe bands. <laughs> <laughs> so Utah Pipe Band created back in uh, 1937 by Robert Barclay and other Scottish immigrants. The band has promoted Scottish heritage for over 80 years by performing in various community events. They regularly compete in the Western United States Pipe Band Association. Let's just listen for a moment. They sound fantastic. And give a wave to Congressman Burgess Owens. He serves Utah's fourth district. He's been a representative for those people in that district since 2021. We saw him at Stadium of Fire. He was there, yeah. yeah. He actually said the opening prayer there. And one of the cool things he likes to do is show a Super Bowl ring. Get a picture at that Super Bowl. Not many, yeah, not many congressmen can flash a Super no, Bowl ring, right? No, no. <laughs> That's, That's pretty uh, cool. No, you get an edge on, uh, on some people when you, you flash that thing around. Okay, social media question for you. We, we love people to be involved in this as you're watching at home. Hopefully you have a device in your hand. So here's a question for you. What foods are on the table at your Pioneer Day parties? It's a good question, right? It's a good question. And the variety that I'm seeing here on your screen is, is quite a bit. I love the one from birthday cake. If Birth you have a birthday on this day, you're having birthday cake. Well, for, we, the, for the woman that was there on your screen, she turned 100 years oh, old. Wow. So we need to give a shout out to April Freiberg Black. Happy birthday. And happy birthday to Carl Malone, too. It's Carl Malone Day. It, well, it is. <laughs> he, yes. We tell the story often that when he was first arrived here and thought this parade was in honor when, of his when, birthday. Yeah. It was, of course. We celebrate a lot of things. Okay, yeah. you just saw the uh, Utah Transit Authority pass on by. It was kind of cool to see some of those old, uh, you know, you look at the new trains now and some of those old trolley buses They've and things like that. They've come such a long way. It's incredible. Yeah. Here's the bountiful Stone Creek steak, building on pioneer values through a fun treehouse construction project. I love it. It shows forest animals working to build a family and home using skills in preparedness, faith, perseverance, courage, and working together. And they have the Ensign Award. You know, it's 
it's not by mistake, at least in my mind, that the skunk is on the back. Can you imagine <laughs> if the skunk was in the front? Oh, no, be, that'd be a be miserable, miserable ride for everyone. Yep. <laughs> All right, moving on here. West Valley City. Ooh, I like that. Sparkly. They get the community award here. The vibrant float here from West Valley symbolizes the city's pride in connection with stories from all cultures. In West Valley City, it is indeed a small world after all. West Valley City is the second most populous city in the state of Utah following Salt Lake. As of 2021, the estimated population of West Valley City is over 136,000 residents. It is also the second largest city in terms of land area, covering just about 35 and a half square miles. So it's a big place to drive around, that's for sure. West Valley City is known for its cultural diversity and vibrant community. The city is home to a significant number of immigrants and refugees from various countries that are contributing to its multicultural atmosphere. We've also got Larkin Mortuary. This fun horse-drawn carriage, it has a rich pioneer history in the state of Utah. Larkin Pioneer founder George William Larkin arrived in the Salt Lake Valley in 1863. It's kind of fun to see living people in the back of that waving, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Honda watch and win. You're hearing the horn there. We got another one. There you go. Beep, beep. Yep. Big word, celebration. That's word number two. Remember, all you got to do to win is watch the parade. Pay attention to the animated car and the keyword there. When you see the car, enter the keyword right away on your KSL TV Facebook page. You have up to six chances. That was number two. And uh, you can win a thousand bucks. Yeah, that, that horn. You, not, you know, can't mistake the sound of that horn. It's a 1924 restored Model T, the Yesco vehicle. That's, That's a blast oh, from the past, exactly. <laughs> yep. Small little vehicle, big horn, right? Ah, uh, there we go. Bring on the bubbles, my friends. Oh, this is a fun entry. This is cool, huh? This is, uh, what do we got here? Building the values into new depths. You know what? While we're, while we're watching this float, let's go to the man of the hour, Casey Scott. Uh, it's Harriman, Butterfield Canyon Stake. So let's go down to Casey. And uh, Casey, where are you? I imagine you're talking to a few people, right? Well, we're along the parade route, but I've got to take a break when you see your friends right here. Oh, my gosh, Sharon, how are you? Good. Ken Johnson, it's a party. Lori C. Oh, my gosh, how are you? Scott Dog. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Oh, you guys are wonderful. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, everybody's here. Why am I here if you're you guys here. are there? I think we just did. I think we just did. I don't know how to put my hat back on because the people see this. <laughs> Scares them. We're all hiding something. Are you guys We're having fun? Something. Having a blast. This is great. What's your favorite thing about a parade? Just the enthusiasm of the people here, the excitement of being here, Pioneer Day, having a good time. Well, I got something for you real quick. Will you give me one of those? We've got reusable. What is this? Go ahead, throw it at me. Just yeah, just hit me with it, and then we're going to go to break. Aren't you in sports? You missed. One more time. Aren't you the sports guy? No, don't worry about it. Oh, that one did hurt. We're going to set it to break. It's okay. We'll be right back with more of Days of 47 Parade. That was beautiful, I think. Today's parade coverage is sponsored by your Utah Honda dealers. Welcome back to the KSL TV Days of 47 Parade. We're looking at the parade route and a close-up here of veterans entries. Thank you, veterans, and you're seeing a lot of people cheering and standing on their feet. This is Honor Flight, a great organization that helps and takes military members to see their memorials. And um, we've seen so many touching stories over recent years of veterans who get to see the, the memorials that have been yeah. built for them. We've been heavily involved KSLs uh, for more than a decade now, and uh, seeing those stories uh, is incredible. Each each time, even though we're seeing the same, it's different people, but we're seeing the same thing. It is, it's heartwarming to see them uh, be able to go out there and see these memorials. Part as part of this contingency, you've got Serving Utah Heroes. It's an extraordinary organization that goes above and beyond to support the men and women who've served in the military or as first responders, as well as healthcare workers and educators. 
Okay, right now you're looking at the Department of Veterans Affairs. No, we just we just moved, didn't we? we oh, USS moved. Harder Base, the U.S. Submarine Veterans. Yeah, this is yeah. the association and the USS Commission Committee are proud to introduce Captain Michael Cause and several members of the soon-to-be commissioned USS Utah. Hi, guys and gals. Thank you for all of you do and your service. The Utah, hole number 801, is a Virginia-class fast attack submarine with a complement of 15 officers and 120 sailors who will sail the world protecting vital American interests. Good. We appreciate their service, as you mentioned, Deanie. Anytime we see uh, anyone who's been in the military, it is uh, so much appreciated. I uh, think of the freedoms we have today. It's, uh, it's all because of them, so thank you. Thank you. All right, so we doing watch and win? It's that time, are you ready? Time. Are you ready for a keyword? I've been waiting all day for keyword number three, Danny. <laughs> Pioneer is the word you want to remember. When you see these cars, it's the, it's the keyword. Keep note of that, and then you can enter in by 6 o'clock tonight on our Facebook page. Okay, we're moving along. And I believe what we got coming up here is Hill Air Force Base. Correct me if I'm wrong as this pans down. You're not, you are correct. Okay. Yes. There we go. Utah National Guard. Okay. I was wrong. Well, I was not. I, I that guess was, that was pretty quick, right? Hill went sorry. by pretty quickly. Yep. Now we got the Utah Air National Guard. Let's welcome them. Paratroopers with group support battalion here, 19th Special Forces Group Airborne. Utah Army National Guard showcasing their new joint light tactical vehicles. Those are cool. Utah National Guard is a premier and vital component of the state's defense infrastructure. A little history for you here. Utah National Guard was officially organized on the 26th of March, 1894, with its headquarters in Salt Lake City, the capital of the territory of Utah. In 1898, almost 800 Utahns, most of them Guard members, volunteered for service in the Philippines during the Spanish-American War, and they saw extensive combat and campaigns all around Manila. During the 02 Winter Olympics, over 2,000 Guard members from 24 states came to Salt Lake City and joined more than 2,500 Utah Guard members to provide security for the Games. So, appreciate all that they do. That's they played a long role in our yeah, history. They did. So, these are the Copper Ridge Riders. Again, another nod to Utah's horseback heritage. Whoa, we've got a trickster going. Oh, boy. Okay, do it. Is she going to stand up? <laughs> I think she was thinking about it. Okay. Now. Okay. Playing it safe. <laughs> Common sense judgment. <laughs> Glad to see that. But yeah, Utah has a strong history of, of horseback riding and equestrian, and this is another nod to that. Okay, going for round two here. Are you going to try it? There we go. Is she going to let go? That's okay. Hey, that's good enough for me. Still holding <laughs> on and standing. Exactly. That's <laughs> I don't need to tempt fate. No. <laughs> Oh, man. Try three. They're egging her on. Uh, she, she's giving into peer on. pressure is what I feel. Uh, <laughs> okay. Moving on here. This is uh, Salt Lake, Utah. West Tongan Stake right here. Oh, they won a ton of awards. Ace 47 Sweepstakes Award. There's a, what's the other one? The People's Choice Award. Wow. Look at that. Children's Choice Award as well. Oh my goodness, that is. There aren't enough awards to no, go around for this a, one. That's a lot of hardware. <laughs> that's a lot of hardware for this group. Going along with the parade theme here, Pioneer Stories, values to build on. This float represents a Tongan pioneer story of faith that began when Elder Brigham Smoot and Elder Alva J. Butler crossed the Pacific to reach the kingdom of Tonga. Since then, the membership of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Tonga has blossomed. Look at it. Looks like he's going to a church meeting right afterwards. I love yeah. the, the <laughs> historic and heritage um, costumes, regal, you know, clothing that yeah. they wear. Um, and one thing I like about this parade is that it incorporates several cultures of Utah's pioneers. You know, you have the traditional version of pioneers, but um, this, there are many 
cultures and aspects of our history that are included in the parade, and I love that part of it. I agree, and again, these are some of the things you may not know that, and that's why I love about the parade. It brings some of those things out, gets a chance for them to be center stage, whoever it is, be center stage and show off whatever that is. And uh, she's got the wave down, doesn't she? Uh, the shaka. Very like it, cool. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> And oh. here comes the float. Man, that was a big prelude to the float. But you know what? <laughs> when you've won that many awards, you just let people know. Like, let's just exhale for a second. Let's pause and just look at uh, that. What's coming up here is cool. Yeah, look at the that detail on the art, the art on there, especially the front. You got people in the crowd standing up because of this float. Yeah, as they should. Go. Looks like a couple of missionaries on top there. Now, keeping in mind that the theme this year is pioneer stories, values to build on. And so you'll see, oh, we've got some dancing oh, yeah, coming up do. too. Makes me want to kind of find a beach somewhere. <laughs> Pioneer question for you. What is an interesting pioneer fact about your family? We asked that on Facebook and again got some interesting answers. Karen Markham's third great grandfather, Daniel Webster Jones, was the leader of a group that heroically wintered at Devil's Gate during the rescue of the stranded handcart companies in 1856. To protect the rescued pioneers' possessions, they nearly starved to death, choosing to eat boiled leather. Wow. Yeah. Another one here, my great 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 grandfather is part of the Brigham Young Handcart Company. One of the first 18 men to enter the valley. He laid claim to the canyon in the Ochre Mountain Range, which is now known as Barney's Canyon. Rio Tinto has just started reclamation after mining gold in it for years and years. These are some great stories. My great, great, great grandpa, third grade, was a captain of the Nauvoo Legion. I pretty much just assume that anybody with the last name of, of Hale in Utah is probably a descendant from one of his four orphans who crossed the plains of the pioneers. Oh, these are great stories. I want to just pause for a moment here. And Look I'm at do, the, I'm yeah. going to soak this in if that's exactly. all right. Exactly. People are going crazy. Yeah, it's so cool. That's so fun. All right, did you ever watch Studio C? Oh, yeah. Your, my kids loved Studio C. Oh, yeah. And they've come out with a movie now. This is the Go West movie from the original cast of Studio C. You'll see the familiar faces in there. Yep, we all recognize them. They got a couple movies. This one, I think, is already out in theaters. They got another one in the fall. Which one are you in? The one in the fall. Okay. It's with a superhero. Okay. And, and I know this is a stretch, but I play the news guy. I, I, I know. <laughs> I hope so. Right. That's you can you can pull that one off. I get I get to interview the superhero though, so you know I These don't get to do are, that very often. They're crazy talented. They're yeah. they're funny. They're cr they're clever, and um, we're excited to see their talents. Thank thank the pioneers for doing this. <laughs> well, and, and you know. In order to be so quick, and that's one of the things, they're so quick on their feet. Um, and, you know, when it comes to ad-libbing some of these things, and uh, they make it look easy, where a lot of people th sit there and think, you know, I could probably go out there and do something. Yeah, you can. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> it's so hard. And so these guys do such a great job. They, they make it fun. Yep. Say hello to Mayor Aaron Mendenhall from Salt Lake City. 
She's been the Salt Lake mayor since 2020. She's the 36th mayor of Salt Lake City. Mayor Mendenhall came to Salt Lake when her fam uh, when her when she was seven years old with her family. She graduated from Alta High School and enrolled in the University of Utah. Okay, let's head down to Casey right now. And uh, Casey, as we got some people going by you, uh, we're looking at the firefighter, well, Salt Lake City Council. We're looking at them right now. But Casey, who are you by right now? Well, you know what? We've actually got some visitors from Japan here. We've got this. Say hi, everybody. You guys are on TV. Let's come over here. Now, you're from, how do you say it again? We're in Japan. Nagoya. And uh, you're over here for two weeks. And I asked you, I said, what do you think about the Days of 47 parade so far? Yeah, I have never seen this parade before, so I'm so excited now. And I think so different races are coming together. And I think everyone respects each uh, tradition, tradition. And I really good to see this parade. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's a little overcast out here, but we've, we've given you some otter pops, and uh, you're enjoying the parade. What do you think about our floats, the big floats? Float, yeah, big float, and it is different from Japanese float, so I'm really amazed at that this float. So it is very fun. So you're going to go home back to Japan and tell everybody about the days of 47? I will tell them, everybody. All right, well, thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the parade. As you can see, people are now fanning themselves off with KSL fans. Uh, we've been given otter pops along the route here, and then just sitting back and enjoying the parade like many, many of you others. And so thank you very much to uh, the Utah Honda dealers for uh, helping us sponsor this. We're going to throw it back to Mike Candini, and uh, I'm along the parade route for the rest of the parade. We'll see you guys in a bit. Casey making a ton of friends out there, as you know. Way to go, does. Casey. Looking at Twilla City right now. Greetings from the float are uh, members of the current Miss Twilla City royalty here. Miss Twilla City, Kennedy Drake, co-attendant, Megan Montague or Montag. Montague. Oh, she's, I, she is good. Her Montague. mom is going to be angry at me, I and I apologize. <laughs> um, co-attendant, Camry Bird. See, that one I was able to get. But they're lovely and accomplished, uh, and we, we applaud them. Yes, we do. Nonetheless. Hey, the theme there is American Stories Values to Build On. Page tribute to the 130th anniversary of poet Catherine Lee Bates' original writing of America. Pretty cool. This is Clearfield High School Band. Let's listen in. The Clearfield High Falcons are proud to present the Cadets Marching Band in its inaugural season. These guys are rookies and they look great. Fantastic. They want everyone to know they are excited to now enter the competitive marching band circuit. Stick around, everyone. Great having you along this morning. Guess what? We're maybe halfway there. We got plenty more to go. The days of 47 parade will return in just a moment. Welcome back to the KSL Days of 47 Parade. Pioneer Stories values to build on is a theme. There's our crew. Hi, everybody. What a fun day for a parade. Cloudy, overcast. It's warm. Oh, and they've got the matching outfits. It doesn't get any better than that. And Patriotic. Wait. And that guy on the left here, didn't he win win our contest a little bit earlier? Oh, he's got, yeah, he's, he's got, got the neck cooler. <laughs> it's the neck fan. <laughs> Oh, man, good job. Put yep. it to good use. There's our friends at Channel 4. ABC 4 and CW 30. Yeah, they have a pretty rich history, as you know, in Utah. First one on air back in 1948 as KDYL TV. K-Dial. That's interesting, huh? Yeah. Making it one of the oldest television stations 
in our state. Over the years, it has undergone several ownership changes and affiliations, ultimately becoming an ABC affiliate back in 1978 and adopting the name ABC4. And a pretty cool car, too. Yeah. Hey, Glenn. Hello. Glenn's got the wave down. Good job. <laughs> we got the Utah Valley University Wolverines. They've awarded 9,000 degrees and more than 8,500 graduates joined the ranks of the proud Wolverine alumni just this last May. So they're, they're going like crazy. Yeah, I remember back in the day when I was at BYU, UVSC, my cousin was going to UVSC at the time we lived together. And it's just amazing how it has grown over the years. I mean, that was, what, 25 years ago plus. But, um, and the Green Man. I never even knew the Green Man existed. They were their thing. There they are. We got two of them. It's yeah. not just, it should be Green Men, not Green Man. <laughs> oh, there's three of them. Oh, pretty cool. All right, Union Pacific here. Yeah, Union Pacific Railroad. Got that truck there, and they got a John Deere on the back. Railroad was an important part of settling the West and keeping trains running safely and efficiently requires other equipment, not just locomotives. So that's why you're seeing what you're seeing right now. The boom truck is driven by John Bowers. It hauls railroad materials to where they are needed, and it can take on a, pay, a payload of 20,000 pounds. Can you believe that? Wow. The other vehicle is a modified pickup truck driven by Reuben Duran. And it is outfitted with a trailer and backhoe to install ties and keep the track infrastructure in working order. It's not an easy task. You think about the size of those trains and the miles weight that they and carry. Miles, yeah. I mean, they take a beating, right? You think our roads take a beating? I bet those tracks take uh, a massive one. And uh, the rail is actually an extremely efficient way to transport goods and materials across the country, if you didn't know that. Uh, Union Pacific moves a ton of freight 444 miles on a single gallon of diesel. Think about that. That is nuts. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's cool. Now, this is a cute entry. Cottonwood Hides, well done. Their history dates back to 1847, when the pioneers first began settling in the Salt Lake Valley and spread it out. So they spread out to the different communities. The settlers were attracted to the fertile soil, access to water from the nearby canyons, and the abundance of cottonwood trees, which gave the area its name. It was primarily an agriculture community, engaged in farming, livestock, they cultivated crops. And then it became a shift in the 1950s and 60s to suburban development. And the construction of I-215 brought freeways right through there. Okay, you hear that, don't you? And now you see it. A unified fire truck with Chief Dominic Burchett and county council members are on board as well. I love that horn. Or siren, I should call it a siren because that's yeah. what that is. But what a beautiful vehicle. Chief uh, Dominic Burchett is responsible for overseeing operations, strategic planning, and administration of the UFA. As a seasoned professional in the field of firefighting and emergency services, Chief Burchett brings expertise, experience, and a commitment to public safety in his role as unified fire chief. He's got the county council on there too. Legislative body here responsible for enacting county ordinances and regulations, adopting the annual budget and authorizing many intergovernmental agreements. So they keep busy. We know that. We cover a lot of stories involving them. The council consists of nine members, Lori Stringham, Suzanne Harrison, Jim Bradley, Arlen Bradshaw, Dave Alvord, Amy Winder Newton, and Renato Shelton Stewart, and Dia Theodore. You know, they've been pleading with the people all week. Please don't make us work real hard. Not because they don't want to work hard, but they just, we can't have fires yeah. right now with uh, all the, the fuel that there is. This is the first Tongan Christian Brass Band. They are spreading God's mute love through music. Their drum line is second to none. So let's listen. Okay, so we've listened to the band here. Let's call for our fourth Honda Watch and Win keyword. There you go. Tradition. Just go to KSL TV Facebook page now, enter the keyword on our contest page. We enter, you have a chance to win a thousand bucks in cash. The winner will be announced on our 
Facebook page after 6 o'clock this evening. Sounds like the Jackson 5. They got this one down. <laughs> yeah, name that tune. That's the drum line they're talking about. Yes, it is. Aw. Look at that kid. There's the cute <laughs> drum line, too. <laughs> Well, Sandy Crescent Stake has won the Pioneer Award for their float. With faith, Utah Pioneers faced overwhelming trials, including the miracle of the crickets and the seagulls. And that giant oh cricket. You know, we've had some stories this year of cricket infestations. That looks like one of them that could have been out there in, uh, was it, I don't remember where it was, <laughs> Tooele or something. But one of the lessons they learned from the seagulls in the cricket story is, like the pioneers, we can face insurmountable challenges and expect miracles, in capital letters, expect miracles. Yeah, I'm just saying, when I'm looking at the, when I'm looking at the size of the cricket compared to the goals, <laughs> it's like, I, I don't think they stand a chance. Well, not in this case, but they did go eat the crickets, the seagulls did, and <laughs> save the crops, and that was why they produced the miracle oh my. on I, that uh, day. I like those things when they're smaller, right? Exactly. The crickets look a lot better when they're smaller. Okay, Thanksgiving point here. We have, uh, they're always innovating, aren't they? One of the exhibits is Dinosaur Island at Thanksgiving Point Gardens. Transports you to a world of prehistoric wonder. From towering Tyrannosaurus Rex to the honored Triceratops. See it all at Dinosaur Island at Thanksgiving Point. Dinosaur Island is Thanksgiving Point's main summer attraction. And it'll be in the Ashton Gardens from May 27th, which for a few months after that, all the way to August 26th. So you've got roughly a month in order to go down and see that if you'd like to. Look at that. Those guys are uh, moving. Those look pretty real, huh? <laughs> I know. Looks like the, the Jurassic, you know, park yeah. uh, theme there. Yeah, they did a great job with that. That was That's impressive. Here's the Taylorsville, Team Taylorsville. Say hello to the youth council as they race along with the float. These young people are the shining stars and the future working hard to set the example for service leadership and greatness there they are of the future generations catch them if you can and they have the, the taylorsville 5k well they got the tortoise and the hair on yeah. there it looks like the hair is taking his break right now yeah someone better wake him up he knows how this story ends doesn't he he's what? not gonna make it <laughs> he, he's he's ran out of steam. That looks so. Look at that. Look at that turtle, though, giving everything he's got. Slow and steady. Yeah. The turtle, tortoise has the right idea. It's true. Okay, Salt Lake County Farm Bureau Federation tractors, and yeah, they don't need no stinking float. <laughs> Look at that. Farm Bureau is a non-governmental, non-profit organization and represents the interests of farmers and ranchers in Salt Lake County and advocates for agricultural policies and practices that support the farming community and heaven knows we need our farmers we need our far farmers and and they are leading the way in technology we've seen some of the ways that they are growing with less water innovating with crops indoor i mean it's amazing yeah. the things that they're coming up with you're right the technology and machinery that they use is you have to go out there and actually see it because this is what when we think of we just think of the tractors something that's been around oh man yeah. that was cool. uh, <laughs> something that's been around forever it it is so innovative what they do it blows your mind when we do some stories on this i'm so impressed <laughs> oh we've got some trick tra tractors Good food makes life good. Isn't that true? Oh, man. Amen, brother. Yep. Amen. There you go. Lock it into gear. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I love seeing all the different, um, just the different types of tractors they have. And, and they span, I imagine, over decades as well. There's Old Faithful, right? The Old Faithful of uh, tractors, John Deere. Yeah, you can't uh, forget that this is the farmer's market season. And there's no better treat than fresh farmers market food and so these these uh, hard-working farmers remind us of that that food is important and in fact essential yeah, without question okay so we move on here I believe we have Taylor the theme award and it goes to Taylorsville North Stake yeah and asked about their float 
what it represents. A creator said this, quote, with all the distractions of these modern days, it's important to take time to immerse ourselves in the examples and histories <laughs> of our pioneer ancestors by reading their inspiring stories. Okay, you just have to look at the detail on this float. Okay. You know what I mean? These are volunteer float creators, right? And they've even got the, the strands of hair, the curlers. Some of the rubber ducks are wearing pearl necklaces. Oh I my. mean, there's just the bubbles. What do you think those bubbles are? have got to be, uh, you know, those balls, right? Yeah, the yeah. Clear beach ball type things. But the things, you just wonder how they came up with all these things to make curlers in the hair and everything that makes these so fun. I'm guessing they spend a lot of time on Amazon, too. If you go to <laughs> Amazon, I bet you can find some of this stuff, right? You're probably right. But it is. It's like you said, I think having a vision, and that's what a lot of these uh, stakes have to come up with is some kind of vision and what they're going to do with it. And uh, get a, have a couple of people who just kind of drive it and, yep. uh, and know what to do. Here's the American Heritage School. This private school opened a new campus in Salt Lake City last year for grades K through 9, just northwest of the conference center. The American Heritage School assists parents worldwide in developing the hearts, minds, and bodies of students to realize their divine potential. They got bubbles too, but they're actual bubbles, not beach balls. Yes. <laughs> Patriotic theme. Yeah, it is. And definitely, you know, when you talk about pioneer stories, values to build on, education's always been, um, since day one, important to the pioneers in our state's history. Cool on that float, as you see, uh, down below, they have all the books there, I believe, lined up and stacked. Yeah, you can see all those. Isn't that kind of cool? The stories that you can build values on. Uh-huh. Like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Wrinkle in Time. That was my favorite as a kid. Yep. Yeah, that's a good-looking float. Good job, guys. Next one here, Sandy City. Sandy City's soaring through its 130th anniversary. Can you believe that? Wow. Sandy's known far and wide for their visually stunning hot air balloon festival. That's August 11th and 12th this summer, so we're just a couple of weeks away from that. It's definitely an event to put on your calendar. History facts about Sandy as we see these lovely ladies up there waving. Long ago, the area of Sandy was a resting place for the Paiute and Shoshone Indians as they traveled from their winter home to Utah uh, to their summer fishing grounds up at Bear Lake. So. Welcome, Copper Hills High School. This is now uh, the Mighty Marching Grizzlies. Marching band has 70 musicians. They're one of the oldest band organizations in this school. And uh, the Mighty Grizzlies can be seen across the state as they present this year's show, Immortal Beloved. I can't figure out the song, Dini. I, I, they've stumped me. If anybody knows the, so the song, let us know. One of the, one, one of the moms are, is going to email us and let us know. I have no idea. I, usually we can make it out. I just don't know the song. Yeah. They sound good, though. They well, whatever they're good. playing, they sound great. They do. Hey, stick around, everyone. KSL Days of 47 Parade. We'll be right back. You won't miss anything as we go to break. We'll keep you in boxes here so you can see what's going on. We'll see you shortly. Today's parade coverage is sponsored by your Utah Honda dealers. Welcome back to the KSL TV Days of 47 Parade. This is a great parade. The parade is moving quickly it today. It is. It's, it's, it's zipping by, isn't it? Yeah. Zipping by. We got Independence and, uh, Bluffdale Independence Stake here. Um, while we show you this, we're also going to do the Honda Watch and Win. Am I right in that? We're going to do the Honda Watch and Win keyword. Put that across there. Nonetheless, as you take this in, this float encourages us to discover our rich family history, our stories, immortalized in sculptures. The live actor's daring climb inspires us to face any obstacles. Those are, I mean, that's impressive. Through the ages, right? Yeah, that's a great job. Really great job. Th thanks, Bluffdale. Well done. Nice. This uh, float, next float, won the uh, Mayor's Award. And 
<laughs> oh, you David, don't you one. want to finish this I'll one? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that because I know Mike oh, would love, love to it. introduce love this float. I just want to sit here silent and uh, <laughs> let you talk about BYU. Hey, rise and shout, my friends. School is out. Cosmo the Cougar enjoying his summer by diving down BYU's true blue foam, an annual student tradition. But the fun doesn't stop there. You might spot Cosmo alongside BYU students and alumni as they go forth to serve the communities all around them. Look at that. That's a great job. I know they want me to move on. I'm going to stick with this for a second. Building on its pioneer legacy, Brigham Young University is a place where study meets faith and belief is put into action. So I'm a proud grad. And, nice uh, job, BYU. Uh, they did a yeah. fantastic job. Well That's done, great. guys. All right, these are our sister city representatives. Here comes the mayor, Yoshinao Gan of Matsumoto, Japan, Salt Lake sister city of 65 years. They're riding in their cars. Again, we try to bring many aspects of our state and, and Matsumoto is our sister city that we include in this parade every year. They're right in style too. Top down, looks like they got a couple of Mustangs there. You can hear them when they, when they rev the engines. Yeah, as they should. I smell chicken. I smell chicken. <laughs> Eat beef. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Utah wants to bring families together, starting with a simple picnic in the park, similar to what our ancestors and pioneers did with their families. This also features a hot air balloon that takes flight 75 times a year in the state of Utah. Chick-fil-A has a place in the hearts of all Utahns. And judging from the lines in the drive-thru, that is, they have a place in the stomachs of many Utahns. Oh. And free Chick-fil-A at Liberty Park today. So oh, wow. There's already a lot of people there, but uh, hey, if you want to venture out there and, and, and try your luck at uh, some free chicken, go for it. Go for it. They do. They have anyone who's been through those drive throughs I'll tell you what. They've got that down. They've, they've, they've figured it out, and I think everyone else is playing catch-up on how you run a drive through window. Okay, yep. this, this next one here is the... Uh, Drage Second Chance Ranch. It's a nonprofit organization that rescues, rehabilitates, and it retrains oh, rescue horses. They provide free riding lessons and horsemanship internships for kids to keep them out of trouble after school and to help direct them towards careers and equine management if they find interest in doing so. They're located in Mountain Green, Utah. Utah, those are some good looking horses right there, aren't they? And a great work that they're doing as well. And well tempered horses. Many horses won't put up with the noise and the, the cheering and all of the stuff that's going along in the parade routes. Yeah. So those are those are good horses. Or to put star tattoos on their hind quarters, <laughs> right? <laughs> on their I wouldn't rears. have any don't exactly. do that to me. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Welcome to the Kearns Utah Stake. Another theme of the pioneer stories and values. It looks like they've got a book that opens pages kind of a pop-up book there and they've got pioneer the silver king mine thomas kearns is part of their story nice i like that Stories that is pretty cool build upon. nice that is cool okay it's time for a honda watch and win contest where Jumper? somebody is going to win a thousand bucks in cash here what's our keyword keyword number five is float you can enter that keyword right now on our KSL TV Facebook page. Submit your answer. Look for the contest post at the top of the page. You got six chances to enter. This one is five, so we got one more after this. It'll be announced on Just the Facebook page after six. one more, and you six. could be on your way to $1,000. There you go. There you go. Riverton City. That one looks... Oh, I like this. Is that Golden Eagle? Beautiful. Okay. So as we watch uh, Riverton City's float right now, we're going to go to Lori Pritchard. She's at Liberty Park right now. Lori, I'm curious how many people are there at this point and what they're doing. I have no... She can't hear us. But as soon as we go to her, she'll have fun stuff. Well, let's talk about Riverton City right now until we uh, get Lori back up there. Pioneers are those who push boundaries. They lead by example, fueled by their love for country and the desire to create a better future for all. And that's what this float is all about. 
Mountain. Oh, let's go to Lori under the Mountain Ridge High School band. They're gonna, they're gonna hey, Lori. Up again, though. Hey, uh, did you guys at Liberty Park here, the very end of the parade route? Uh, things, beyond the end, yeah, the beyond the end. Now things are starting to hop over here at Liberty Park, kind of on the end where you, where not, not a lot of people are quite yet. Right, and you had the uh, the end of the marathon. We saw some runners actually. They must have finished up and then gone over to wave at the uh, folks on the parade route. But the cool thing is now, now that the parade is uh, kind of winding down, everybody heads over to Liberty Park and you've got vendors, you've got events, you've got food, you've got hey, all kinds oh, of fun food, food, food. I yeah. saw the Chick-fil-A band. Oh, Chick-fil-A apparently big, giving away like the big sandwiches. Truck, right? yeah. yeah, until so. noon today. So if they still have any, you can grab one as well. Free. They were free, right? Yeah, they're free. Free. That's, uh, free. that's a good thing free. about it. <laughs> we like free. Uh, we also like fun. We've had a lot of fun on that uh, parade route. Hope you all did too, those of you who are watching. We're done, yeah. but you guys aren't. There's still more floats Jam to Jam-packed. Jam-packed, everybody. Thank you, Utah. I love it. They're, they're right. like, we're out. We're done. Yeah. We're <laughs> you guys go get a drink. We want to say hello to the Mountain Ridge High School Marching Sentinels because this is their debut in the Days of 47 Parade. Welcome to the Sentinels. All right. Way to go, Mountain Ridge from 39 students to now 100 in their marching band. We're gonna go to break, just a minute, and we'll be right back with the Days of 47 Parade. Welcome back everyone to the KSL Days of 47 Parade. Pioneer stories, values to build on is a theme and you are looking at the legacy award winner right here, West Jordan Park Steak. Pioneers building their lives upon the rock of Jesus Christ. Salt Lake Valley is built on him and his teaching and values. And you hear the- You can hear the primary yeah. songs that they're playing I and the little it. kids in the front. came down not yet the but floods it, came up yeah <laughs> speaking of rain it hasn't it's not right i mean it's just perfect the sun's barely coming through the clouds yeah it has been a great morning look at that i love that angel moroni on top too that's very a very nice flow yeah very well done very well done got a couple missionaries on the outskirts there looks good the Sandy, Utah Hidden Valley Stake has this next float entry, and they run the, da the Daughters of the Utah Pioneers Award. The creators of this float said, like the roots of a big tree spreading out and providing strength and stability, our hope is that the values of the great pioneers will find their way into the lives of all those that hear their stories. That's great. I love the book on the front there. And again, that's almost like a little pop-up book as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that tree and everyone, again, uh, the the ideas of education as well on having all these open books. Playing the Is he playing the fiddle under a tree? Yeah. Rooted in pioneer stories. And so you'll see the story of them rescuing some of the pioneers, carrying them across the river, the seagulls and the crickets again. Those are more manageable cricket yes, sizes. I, <laughs> yeah, they all look as disgusting, right? Yeah. The other one was, it was a, a little too real for me. All right, this one right here is the Consul of Mexico. A warm welcome to the Consul of Mexico, Eduardo Baca Cuenza. Participation of Consul Eduardo Baca Cuenza in the United Days, uh, the Utah Days of 47 Parade symbolizes the integration and the shared heritage between Mexico and the uh, state of Utah, fostering a sense of unity and cultural exchange. These are the United Charles of Utah. The United Charles of Utah is a passionate and dedicated group of individuals who preserve and promote the rich Mexican Charo tradition in our state. Through skillful horsemanship, look at that. Hmm. Oh, wow. Vibrant costumes, cultural events, they showcase the beauty and the significance of this cherished equestrian tradition and they foster cultural appreciation and community engagement. I just can't get enough of that prancy prance. <laughs> that horse, he knows he oh. looks beautiful, doesn't he? He knows he's fancy. Yeah, that's he does. It. That horse knows he is fancy. <laughs> and that's okay, it looks like it was earned, yep. right? 
So does that one. Look at the mane on that horse. Just so pretty. Almost walking at an angle. Yeah, you imagine the amount of work and effort put into that. And it, th listen, the horse has to be on board with this too. It can't just be you saying, all right, this is what I want you to do. Yeah. That horse has to be all, all in as well. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what the other horses think when one just stops just and starts off. prancing around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's doing it again. They're talking at the stables again. <laughs> But again, another part of Utah's tradition that's included in this parade. Yeah. I'm so happy about that. You got your captain's award winner right here, Salt Lake Holiday North Stake. The theme, Pioneer Stories, happy times on the trail. They do look happy, right? Yes, it's a they happy do. Bunch. <laughs> the theme for this float is based on the journal writings of young pioneers on the Mormon Trail. Even on the trail, young pioneers found happiness and they found good times. And that's a really good point. Um, I think sometimes as we, uh, you know, a lot of youth will go on Pioneer Track and we hear of all these stories. And we do. I mean, the hardships were yeah, incredible were and hard to even imagine. But it's also important to realize that they found fun and they found joy in what they were doing and knowing that they were doing the right thing and coming here for the right reason. So I love this. I love this theme of, hey, we're going to show the joy. joy the, happy the joy part. and the journey, right? Mm -hmm. Happy times on the trail. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. Because so often, you're right, we, we focus on the, the severity and the, the sacrifice, which are all important, but this is nice. I know. Because you know they had these moments, they had these moments, right? You had these moments of joy. And heck, let's be honest, some of these moments are some of them that keep, I imagine, kept them going. Kept them going, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Romance, love, and marriage. Okay. <laughs> Hard time convincing me, but okay. Yeah. We hope so, right? Music, singing, dancing, all right. Yeah. 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 Oh, there you go. There's a romance. We got a, a couple kisses. Kiss Good can. job. <laughs> They've got a lot of talent in that state. Not yeah, only to make the do. float, but the musicians and dancers. Yeah, they did a great job. Well done. Very well done. This is the Viewmont High School Marching Band. The band is led by drum majors Preston Hilton, Emmeline Howell, and Scott Richardson. And they're looking forward to another great season. Right, Mike, we've been we've been bombing out. Let's see I if know. we can name the tune. Usually we're like 90%. I know. And we're not today. No. Nope. Seems to be a little confusion. Okay. Come on, guys. Pull it together. Pull it together. <laughs> They're doing it. They're good. Billy Eilish, a little Billy Eilish for you. I believe it is. <laughs> Nice. That is well done. All right, thanks, Viewmont. Yep, thank you. you. You gave us a win. We, we weren't sure what was going on <laughs> in the beginning, but now you, you, you nailed it. You, you brought her home. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't I take this one? How's that sound? These are my peeps. Yeah. South Jordan City here. It's a place where fantasy can become a reality. I'm living that reality. Not with all the bubbles, but I'm still living the reality. Right? <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> living the dream. In the coming years, South Jordan's excited to welcome the new Salt Lake Bees Stadium, of course, and the start of developing a new master plan community on more than 2,200 acres of recently annexed land. We're going to have to watch and see what other dreams come true in South Jordan City. And so... Hey, yeah, good that's job. exciting. That's they exciting, the new stadium that's well, coming out there. Well, that place is blowing up, right? It is. It's one of those places that uh, you know, all of Utah is, but they keep traveling west, right? The city keeps on moving west towards the Oakers there and building and building and building. So, Yeah, let's, you know, as part of as we watch this fun, the float, we asked you on Instagram and Facebook, what's your favorite part of the parade? 
And here's some of the answers. The part where I stay home. Oh, come on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but not bad. You have this good view. Rodeo and the parade. The bands. Oh, hey, Lisa Hoagland. We appreciate you, Mike and Dini, announcing the parade hey. and the floats. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there are lots of fun traditions on this holiday. And, you know, we've seen and heard about some of them. Okay, we got the Mountain Riders right now. This is USWRCA High Mountain Riders. Utah State Western Riding Club Association High Mountain Riders. That's what that acronym was. Uh, it's a pioneer in the Western horse competition and family involvement. They compete at district, region, and state competitions celebrating the Western horse and lifestyle. USWRCA was formed in 1948. The purpose of the association is to provide enjoyment for people of all ages and their horses, of course. Yep. West Jordan, Utah, Cobble Creek Stake has the theme this year, Game On. And you recognize those boxes back there? That's Candyland, only it says Promised Land. Huh. Uh, let's see, Checkers. The Game of Life, only it says Hope. Hope, yep. And Monopoly. Or only it says Monday. Monday, Monday Family Home <laughs> Evening. So these are fun traditions. The Pioneers worked hard again, but they also found time to play together. These values built family unity. Playing games has continued to build family unity throughout decades. Modern day families continue this tradition day. That's pretty clever, today. Monday. That's very clever. They like, make, uh, they're making me love Monday. Game on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was clever. That Rubik's Cube the is cool, Rubik's too. The Rubik's Cube, I just noticed that. Yep, I'm loving that. All right, Dini, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop talking okay, right now. Okay, uh, sure, I'll take this one on. <laughs> this is the University of Utah, and Swoop has his own license plate there. We've got staff members from the U. They are riding the parade route in that 1933 Buick and a 1946 Ford. They're red. Red, of course. Is that red? What yeah. Is it's it? not quite the crimson red, but that's uh -huh. yeah, red. I'm calling it maroon, Danny. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm teasing, <laughs> right. I'm teasing. But they've got a, a rich history dating back to 1850. I mean, again, you talk about the importance of education. Uh, right almost as soon as they settled the valley, the U started in 1950. Yep. All right, you can hear them coming. There they are, the Davis High School Marching Band. All the way from Kaysville, let's welcome the Davis High School Marching Band. powerhouse. So the Davis High School Marching Band's enjoyed a long history of success in Utah, including performance the spring of 2023, so just a few months ago, in Washington, D.C. for the Memorial Day Parade. They were region champions last year. They received their highest placement as a school to get second place overall at their multi-state regional. Band's motto, life lessons learned through music. I like that. They believe in the transformative power that music can make in shaping young people's lives. Let's take a listen. Days of 47 Parade will be right back. Welcome back to the KSL TV Days of 47 Parade. You're just finishing up listening to a uh, the Davis High School marching band. They are good. We've been, during the break here, we've just been listening to them. There's kind a of lot soaking of it kids in. in that band. They know what they're doing. This is an experienced bunch right here. And they sound good. You can tell. Each year they bring it, don't they? Each year they bring it. Yep. They perform all year long in different events and competitions. Here's the Harriman, Utah Town Center Stake. This is a pretty float. Lots of 
garden and agriculture references, as you would expect from Harriman. Their theme is our fresh water heritage. This beautiful float adorned with flowers and friendly critters symbolizes unity, co cooperation, and Pioneer ancestors' commitment to bringing life-giving water to communities. Let's sustain their legacy and build a brighter future together. He was hydrating as you said that right there. How, how so, appropriate. Very appropriate. Nice. <laughs> Our fresh water heritage. You know, this has been a year when we have celebrated the water that we have, that we yeah. finally got. We, we, we celebrate our fresh water and we celebrate our salt water as well here in the state of Utah. Yes, we That's do. That's one of we the beauties, uh, to be a landlocked state and still celebrating both of those bodies of water. It's pretty impressive. That's I, a cool fish. I love the, the, the fish tank. That's clever. Yeah, that really is. That really is. Yeah, a lot of detail on this one, even with those, look at that, where it says unity and all the individual flowers in the middle there. Yep. Yeah, they did a great job. Float 101? Really? We've seen 101 already? Uh, incredible. This, like we said, it's flying by today. It is. They're moving. Everyone's moving. Oh, here we go. Is this Murray City? Yep, it is. Murray City right there. Nice. <laughs> hey, how are you? I like the green helmet. All right, this is Flo for Murray City celebrating the value of life's distractions. It's starting with uh, some horses right here, I believe a prelude. Uh, for nearly 100 years, Murray Park has diverted people's attention from their daily grind to find joint 22 acres of green grass, community swimming. Uh, you got live in-park performances as well, amphitheater shows, and yes, are we going to see a squirrel? I haven't seen it yet. That's an EG These? performance horse. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys, we, we jumped got, the gun on that one. We got a little one. ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but those, yeah, those uh, performance horses and riders, they were beautiful horses, and they worked from ranching to all kinds of things. Okay, we gave them their job. I apologize for that. I was just so excited about Murray City right here and all those things we just thought just they were about. together. <laughs> we thought they were t uh, the same entry, but here we go. Yeah, and, and again, they're really focusing on, on the park out there, Murray Park. And anyone who's been there knows it's so cool. It's not just this one flat, open green space. It's crown it, jewel, right? Yeah, it really is. It's, uh, it really is fun to visit there for a number of reasons. They have a lot of sporting events. You got softball, you got uh, soccer, you got everything. Fo football out there as well, but yeah, they do a great job. All right, Salt Lake Rose Park North Stake. Another water theme here, Pioneers. Unwavering faith. And you've got the tidal wave. It's the theme of the float. It honors the unwavering faith of pioneers who gathered to Utah from all around the world, including the Isles of the Sea. They did a great job with those waves, right? Yeah. Then you got a seagull on top. We're just riding the waves. You don't see that very often. Surfing the wave. I love it. And I love the new flag that they've got on there, our new state flag. Oh, yeah. We sat on a few of the floats there, and it has been, it's an attractive flag. I, flag. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. All right, let's head down to Casey's along the parade route. All right, Casey, where are you? Who do you got? Well, I'm just out front, but we're getting ready for an old-fashioned horse race. Now we got three contestants. We've got their stick horses, and they're ready to go. Let me introduce you to Connor, and then Connor's going to tell you the name of his horse. Connor, what's the name of your horse? Charlie. Charlie. Connor and Charlie. And this is Hazel. And Hazel, what's the name of your horse? Um, Hazel. Oh, one, one more time, what's the name of the horse? Hazel. Okay, and then this is Eleonora, and what's the name of your horse? Lily. Lily, okay, so now let's get everybody to step back this way a little bit, and then uh, Connor will get you back there, and there, there's the line, and the first person to cross wins on the count of three. One, two, three, go! Well, it looks like Connor came in first, Eleanor came in second, and Hazel came in third, but guess what? You guys get to keep those horses. Have you had a good time at the Pioneer Day Parade? Yeah. Okay, that's the answer I was looking for. So that's what's going on here. We're going to send it back to you guys where I believe you got air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, Casey. Yeah, you're don't having complain. more fun out there, I no think. No complaint. You're going to cover the clouds out there. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. We got, we, got, we got the final 
key huh. word. Yes, how to watch and win. Let's do it. Are you listening now? Because it's your honk. The key word is parade. That is your sixth and final keyword as you try to win the Honda Watch and Win Contest for $1,000 in cash. Okay, good luck to all of you. Those are, there's all six words, and uh, put them in there. Put them on our Facebook page. Looking at uh, this float right here is the Bountiful Utah Steak. There you go. Float represents the values of hard work and faith that early pioneer uh, peregrine sessions exemplified. That is good. I love the tree. He was the founding father, yeah, and the first pioneer settler in Bountiful. He entered the Salt Lake Valley in September of 1847 and continued north to what is now Bountiful. And spring of 1848, he was the first to plow the land and plant crops there. As others joined him, the area became known as Session Settlement. Hey, this is this is an all-American car right here. Lynn Larson in a vintage 1966 Mustang convertible. It's that iconic American classic that captures the spirit of the 1960s with a sleek and timeless design and its open top sense of freedom and adventure. So shiny. Yeah, it's a good looking car. This is the Centerville Canyon View Stake float. And uh, the float here shows grandma sharing stories with her granddaughter about the farmers who set her, settled Centerville. From the peacocks that roam the hillsides to the vegetables and the fruits that they grow there, Centerville has a strong, strong pioneer heritage. And next we have the Salt Lake Grant Utah steak. This float tells the story of Mary B. Crandall, who was a teenager assigned to travel with another family in the MacArthur Handcart Company. That family decided to turn back, but Mary wanted to continue on. Mary kept her optimistic attitude with her the whole, the whole time, and by her account, she was the first girl to pull a handcart across the big mountain. Look at that buffalo. I, I know. love that. And what she's doing with the buffalo there is something that is not encouraged for us to do with live buffalo. <laughs> We've had to do news stories on that lately too, haven't we? Do, do not. Do not pet the buffalo, right? <laughs> or try to pet the buffalo. And look at those wheels. I love how they spin there. They're trucking along. But I love how they've taken the theme of an individual pioneer girl and made that into their float. Yeah. No, I think that was smart. That was smart. It looks really good. Okay. We've got uh, one more. we got a couple more floats here. Parade chair. Chip. Well, this is 114. So we get the parade committee. The entire committee right Thank there. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, we appreciate what you've done. These are the faces of the committee members who sacrificed so much of their time to help keep the pioneer spirit alive and well in our community. We want to say a huge thank you to all of them for all the hard work they do, the service hours they put in. Uh, this parade doesn't put on itself. And so I'm just glad they're still smiling. <laughs> oh, they're going to go home and collapse tonight, don't yeah. you think? They'll exhale for the next month. They, that, that's what they've always said, though, is that, you know, their work starts like maybe tomorrow or the next day. They oh, might get my. a day off, but, you know, they've been doing the parade preview parties that people attend out at the um, Exposition Center in Sandy, and then they take care of this day-long parade a lot of work it's so appreciated though it doesn't go mm. unnoticed uh, I, I think we all appreciate it as we see all these floats come by and you just know the organization that it takes to do something like this it is incredible but they got it down they yeah, do it each so and every year and do an awesome to job joe dean the chairman and all of those volunteers yeah west jordan high school marching band We've got uh, the West Jordan Band is renowned for their exceptional performance, precision, and musicality with their dedicated team of musicians. Listen and let's see if we can hear and guess the name of this, this tune. <laughs> Yeah. Gr 
Green Day. Green Day. Green Day. I think the U of U band, marching band plays this at the football games. I think I hear this one at oh, the really? football games. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Anyway. Hi. All right. Well, this is the end of our parade. We're here in front of the Leonardo Museum. It's been a great day, Mike, and a fun parade that just kept us on our toes. Yeah, we appreciate the Leonardo and all they do, and uh, great museum. If you haven't been down here, the museum is incredible. Open to all ages there from noon to 5 o'clock, uh, Wednesday to Sunday. Tickets just 5 bucks. Well worth it, especially when some of these, uh, some of the things they have coming through here. It's incredible. Thank you for watching and joining with us in the fun. Be sure to get in your watch and wins. Have a great day. Be safe, and we'll see you tonight on KSL 5 News at 5, 6, 6, 30, and 10. We hope you'll join us then, too. Happy Pioneer Day. It was great spending the morning with you all. Have a safe and fun day. And that's... Days of 47 KSL 5 Parade. Today's parade coverage is sponsored by your Utah Honda dealers.